Hello everybody, today we're going to do the Zodiac reading for Taurus for 2021. Just it's going to let you know what is going on with your whole year, love and money. So I'm going to do uh, four at the top and that's going to relate to winter, spring, summer and fall. And then we're going to do four on the bottom, which is winter, spring, summer, fall for money. Uh, the, what I'm calling winter right now, just, just to simplify it for the calendar year and when the solstices are, winter is going to be January, February, March. Spring is going to be April, May, June. Summer is going to be July, August, September, and fall is going to be October, November, December. Don't forget there is obviously a little bit of overlap, but it'll make sense once we get into the reading. I am doing these Zodiac. This is my Christmas gift to you guys. Zodiac readings for uh, 2021 to let you know your whole entire year ahead so you can plan. So if anything even uh, a little bit troubling or warning comes up, it can be fixed. I can work on that. We can do spell work, whatever you want. And also I'm putting these into the playlist of um, free readings. So you can ship this out if you have family members um, that are, you know, a Virgo or a, you know, a Scorpio or a Sagittarius, whatever. Go ahead and ship it out to them. It's totally free. And if you would like a very personalized reading, down below I have links to where you can get your own reading just for you. So let's get started. So Taurus for 2021. What's going to happen with you? Okay, so winter. It's going to be this. Spring. Summer. Just trying to make sure. I can't really see the monitor here if I am in. In a... Uh, in the camera here, fall. Okay. So then we're going to do for money, winter, spring, summer. Oh, that one slipped out of my hand. And fall. Okay. So Taurus, let's start with you. So coming up, this is January, February, March. It says that instead of you having to give money out, and I know this is love, but this is a money card, just real quick. Instead of you having to give money out, it's as somebody's going to be giving to you. Now, since this has to do with love, this is more about you being a giver in a relationship. You typically take care of everybody else. This is now the time to sit back and have somebody take care of you. Let's specify this a little bit more. Yeah, it seems like you were having a troubled relationship. Things were moving in the wrong direction. And it says that a lot of work either has been done or will be done in the January, February, March time period on this relationship. And instead of you having to do all the work, Taurus, which I know you do, somebody is going to be doing it for you or you're going to be getting your results back from the work you've done in love. Okay. So spring, which is April, May, June, it says... It's not really a starting over time period. It's more of a continuance, which would be a continuance of this situation, okay? It might seem like there might be a breakup and a get back together, but it's actually just going to be one continuous, you know, a continuum, okay? So let's look more into that. Okay, yeah, you you being the builder, you you making things right, this person not, not doing their thing, and resting. Okay, this is just a period with this relationship where it's going to, you get off the roller coaster, especially in spring and you let it coast. Okay. So you're not going to be doing a ton of work and maybe this other person isn't either, but that's okay. Just let it kind of cook. Just let it just, you know, when you make a really wonderful dish, you let it simmer all day long. You let it reduce. And that's what spring is going to be like with your love situation. It's just going to be reducing, 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 and that's okay. It's not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. It just, it's just going to come down a little bit. It's not going to be as intense, which Looking at these cards, you kind of need that. You need that to be less intense. Just let it simmer. Let it simmer. Into the summer, okay, it says you may not do a reconciliation. You may finally cut the cord. You might just be like, I can't do this anymore. But let's look at the cards. Let's see what they say. So July, yep, as another person comes in. Yep, you're done with the circle. You're done with the cycle. You're done with going over and over and over and over again. Um, so July, August, September, it does look like this relationship will either come, it's going to come to an end, but it's going to be a an amicable end. It's not going to be a giant explosion. It's not going to be, a, oh my God, this person's horrible. And it actually does look like there's another person involved at this, this time. So you may have another love interest or the other person may have somebody else. So that's going to make it easy to break. Okay. You're not going to feel so stuck or like, oh, okay. Um, the introduction of this third energy, got it. Okay. Now I know what's going on and it's going to, it's not going to be a hard, like this is, 
you, it's a slow wind down. Okay. It's not, it's not going to be an explosive breakup, a traumatic breakup. It's going to be a slow wind down, but let's see what fall, which is the end of the year, October. Um, it says you grow up a lot. October, November, December has in store for your love life. Taurus. Oh yeah. Back on top. Back on top. You, it doesn't seem like you go back. Nope. It says you're back on top. It says you're going to be in fine form for your dating game. You're going to be uh, bell of the ball, really. Male or woman, doesn't matter. Uh, it says you're going to be bell of the ball. You're going to be, be feeling really good because this situation was very draining for you. Okay. It does say that you don't immediately want to fall in love again. You're just not into it. You're like, I'm going to do me for a while. And it says that you stop listening to other people. You stop worrying about what other people say. You don't, you just don't care. Like zero F's given, right? That's your love life. So you go, you go through the slow cool down. And then in fall, winter, you start to discover yourself again and you get a whole new you. So it's actually a good thing. It's a good thing to ours. I'm going to move these out of the way. We can do your money reading now for the year. Okay, so let's, I'm hoping that is all in, in frame. I can't really see my monitor here. Okay, so it says, okay, you're realizing January, February, March, as a lot of people do, they got to get a hold on their finances and they're going to start either saving, they're going to change something big. Oh, good. Yes, saving. Saving is the first card that comes up. Saving and family money. So I don't know if you help family members out or if you're very generous. Okay, but it says you start to realize that, um, Putting a ton of money in the bank or putting money away, um, you'd be better off investing it or helping other people with it, okay? So, and it says that this happens very quickly. This is not um, necessarily a something you were thinking about before, and this just comes to you very quickly, or this might be a business opportunity that comes very quickly, okay? But it talks about investing. It talks about family. And yeah, you're gonna, your January, February, March is going to be much better than most people's, okay? So don't worry about that. If you're having any money issues or if you're freaking out right now, you get a plan together in January, February, March, and it happens, this is a quick card. It happens very rapidly and things start falling together. As what showed here in spring, April, May, June, it shows you giving money out. Now this can be paying bills or it can be helping people or it can be putting money into investments. Let's see which one it is. Oop. Okay, yep. Yep, 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 yep. It's not about you, it's about other people. And you may be going on a trip. This is a errant dog hair. This is this is a travel card. This is a trip card. So that's very good. Yeah, it shows you have many, many, many opportunities. It's not going to be about you. It's more about other people. So you're not going to be putting money in the savings account. You're going to be either investing or you're going to be helping others. And because of doing that, it says you get to go on a trip. So you might be investing in real estate in a different country. You might be investing in a, you know, your cousin helping them build a house and you get to go see them. So your money is going to take you on some adventures. So use it for that. Okay. I don't necessarily think you have to plan the trip. It kind of seems like the trip is going to come upon you. Like you're going to get invited to go see some stuff. Okay. So summertime, let's see what summer's all about here. Summer, it says, you're not taking advice from anybody. Summer is not so much that you're locked down, but you're like, you know what? Everything, everything that other people tell me, if I'd done what I wanted to do, it would have been better anyway. So let's see July, August, September, Tauruses. Yep. It says you're just not, you're kind of locked down and you're going to do, yep. Your money is your money. Your money is your money. You're going to do it your way. Okay. Yeah. It says you have to be, make this new plan. So a lot of people have a financial plan in January. It looks like you're going to be doing yours in June and July changes things. So July, you get a whole new financial plan going on of I'm going to put this toward rent, this toward investing, this toward business, this toward myself, this toward whatever. But you're going to do it on your own. It says don't listen to other people because you've been thinking all along that you know better and you actually do. And when you come out toward the end of it, so you know, uh, when we head into fall, so end of September, it says you're back on top again. You're able to treat yourself, <clears throat> excuse me, treat yourself, do good things, help other people and spend money. But at this time period, you might be a little, you might pull back a little bit with money, not being so spendy, but that's okay. It's almost like you're getting an entrepreneur mode. Okay. So very last card of both and of the year. This is for fall, October, November, December of 2021. Um, this is a card where your heart is broken. So a plan you made, or it can be somebody that you were going to work with doesn't go well. 
Okay, but let's let's see what that's all about. Yeah, no, it's the person you work with. So this is good that this warning card is coming up. Yeah, see, that's Angel. Angel's giving you a message. Um, it says, bad news coming from a person that you work with. Okay, here's the thing. We're knowing this 12 months ahead of time, which is excellent. Because you can make sure you don't work with anybody. You can make sure you don't have a partnership. You just do it on your own. Or go back a month, go back to these cards when you're putting a business together, when you're putting a, a loan or a plan together, make sure, so don't freak out when you see this, just make sure in the paperwork or in the contract, it says you're not responsible for this other person. That's what, so, so this is a warning toward the end of the year, but you have all year to prepare for it. So don't freak out. Any, I'm just going to throw you an extra card here. Yeah, it says this other person tries to steal your thunder. So just make sure you're on top. Make sure you're the king, S-H-I toot, and you know, if you're going to go and let's say, let's say this is a couple and you're going to buy a house together, make sure your name's on the deed only. Um, let's say you're going to take a loan out together. Make sure it's just your loan because it says this other person comes in and bad news happens. All right. So to protect yourself, this is not a scary card to protect yourself. Make sure that you do it on your own. There you go. There you go. Tauruses. So that is your reading for, uh, 2021. I can't believe it's, so, I think we're all happy. It's 2021. I was telling uh, the people in the other video in the area. Uh, yeah. Aries video. Um, don't forget uh, 2020 was all about, it was out of our control. It was absolutely like no matter what decision we made, it was out of our control. The cool thing about 2021 is with the Saturn Jupiter conjunction that just happened and Pluto's coming out and Pluto tells a lot of secrets. Okay. The th cool thing about 2021 is, is it going to be an easier year? Yes and no. No in the fact that still some bad things are going to happen, but yes in the fact that now, instead of it being out of our hands, it's in our hands and we can take control over what's going to happen next. So we can make good choices in our life. So that, that before we really couldn't, before it was just like, oh, you're locked down. Oh, you're, you know, this is what's happening to you. Oh, this is what's happening with, you know, um, you name it. Even, uh, you know, I don't get political on this channel at all, but even with the election, I don't, I don't think anybody was really happy with the process, no matter who you voted for, everybody was doing the WTF on what happened. And I think it felt for a lot of people, doesn't matter what side you were on, that it was out of our hands. You know, it was very chaotic. So 2021 is about, will bad thing, will bad things happen? Yes, they will. Will good things happen? Yes, they will. But you're going to be in control of the narrative where 2020 we weren't, it was very out of control. So that being said, please, please, please. I, uh, check out below. Um, I have, I'm slowly, uh, as I, as I'm going, I'm uploading for, uh, I got the Aries up, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. I'm going to be doing this for everybody. Give them out, send them out to your friends and your family as free gifts from me to you. And then also I'm doing a lot of uh, manifesting work. I have some free manifesting videos and I have tons of, if you're more inclined to the magic stuff, tons of videos on how to for magic. And I have lots of products and I love, love my favorite thing to do is to give readings to people. So follow the link below um, of how you can book your own personal reading and we can go over your stuff. Ask me all the questions you want. I love doing readings. And I hope you guys have a beautiful 2021. Take that Taurus energy and just kick 2021 in the butt. Okay, have a great day, guys.